found families and welcome to week one of Space Ninjas versus Pirate Squirrels. So we are in an epic battle um, of Space Ninjas versus Pirate Squirrels the next four weeks. And our big idea today was God blesses us when we suffer for doing what is right so we can stand up for him. We were in Daniel chapter three this week talking about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego not going with what culture said, not going with what the king's decree was, but standing firm in their faith for God doing what is right and God protected them, blessed them, and promoted them all because they chose to do what was right despite being possibly killed. Um, our key verse this week is found in Matthew chapter 5 verse 10 and it goes like this, blessed are those who suffer for doing what is right. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. One more time. Blessed are those who suffer for doing what is right. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. So that's your key verse this week. Memorize it. Get it in your kids. Get it in your heart. Take it as a family challenge. Everyone in the house, memorize the scripture. Um, it's a great way just to get the word of God rooted in their heart, rooted in their mind. And when we know we get it in there, it's in there. And God is going to do awesome things with it. Use the go home guide this week. Review your kids' notes. Have them recap the story today. Get them thinking. Get them applying. Ask them questions this week. Hey, how can you stand up for God in your school today? How can you stand up for God maybe in dealing with your siblings or in our home? How can we stand up for God in this culture, in this society that we live in? Talk about it and discuss it and apply it um, every single day. I look forward to seeing your kids next week, Pirate Squirrels versus Space Ninjas. Week two, get your kids here. They don't want to miss it. They are accumulating points on our last week. The team that wins will have a prize, so we need to get all of our kids here. We need to get their points. We need to get, more importantly, the word of God in them. Have a great week. I love you. I love your kids. I'm praying for you. See you next week. Hello, families. It is not too late to get your kids signed up to join the Fountain Kids Christmas Choir. You can use the link here on this slide. You can also register them under the event tab on the Fountain of Life Church app. Also, practice. Second week of practice is next week after gathering. Pick up your kids, get them to the worship center with Miss Rochelle. Um, they do have to make two of the four practices, so plan accordingly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Hope to see your kids there. Bye!